Okie dokie. There we go. This game sounds so cool. I don't know. I ju you guys just missed the music, and I'm sorry for that. But hi. Welcome in. Hopefully my audio isn't too bad. Hi, Moth. How are you? Good at... I think it's evening for you, right? Good evening, Moth. I just woke up not even an hour ago <laughs> and it will be just me myself and I Corey won't even be here because he'll be driving here which is exciting and so I want to try this game just came out today and I'm excited to just get into it oh there's the wolf among us oh it's coming out soon I don't know this oh there's Batman wolf among us and this game I don't know that game. I'll sign in later. I'm lagging? Am I? Oh gosh, I hope not. Is it my end? Maybe refresh? Oh, I hope I'm not lagging. That would suck. Um, let me see if I can... I don't think there's anything I can do. Oh, I'm good now? Okay. Hmm, I don't know what that was. Um, Gamma? I don't know. I like my game a little brighter. Hopefully this game is good. I love the Telltale series. Telltale series is fun. <laughs> I'm sorry, Moth! Supplies are dwindling, morale is low, and the captain of the Artemis is about to learn the consequences of, fa of failing a crew in the belt. for the sub. <laughs> Did it? Oh. Are we evacuating? Are we evacuating a guy? How do you say it? Are we... Did we send him out of the ship? Eight hours earlier. Let's celebrate. Hmm. What are we celebrating? Our last mission. I've heard that before. This is the one. By the end of the day, all of us are going to be fucking rich. But mostly you and me. Oh. What is that? It's another wreck. Not just any wreck. The UNN Urshinabi. Dropped off the map less than a week ago. No distress call. Those UNN pricks never come out this far unless they're carrying something special. Aren't you one of those UNN pricks? <laughs> Easy. If I'm still one of those UNN pricks, then you're still an OPA traitor with Anderson Dawes' bounty on your head. Uh, but Duke? The past is Duke, the past. not now. Not now, Duke. Okay. Not now. Hello, kitty. Um, Why didn't right. you take it? Dang to go. I knew you were worth more. Anybody who could piss off someone that dangerous must be pretty fucking valuable. <laughs> His neck. Oh, I make a choice. Knew you were worth more. Anybody who could piss off someone that dangerous must be pretty effing valuable. Oh, I scroll. You don't own me. Anyone could piss off Dawes. Anyone. Anderson Dawes is a gangster and a killer. 
it's not hard to piss off a man like that. Well, his loss is my gain. Just want to make sure you're not having second thoughts about our deal. Ah, oh, come on. We're equal partners. We pay the crew, the costs, and the overhead. The rest is 50-50. You and me. We've got a good thing going here. Nobody fucks with you, which means nobody fucks with me. And hell, if this score is what I think it could be, you've got the deal of the century. Now drink. We like bandits? Uh, I'll celebrate later. I'll toast you when I've got my fortune. Yeah. Suit yourself. I'll keep a waiting for when you return. Let's not be arrogant just yet. Are we just like a rogue Time team? To rally the crew for Cox's latest last mission. I should start by briefing Khan. I should start by briefing Khan. She sounds so tough. Okay, if you're lost, press F to ping. Well, I already see it. I don't need a ping. Yep. That is so cool. So much detail. Girl boss, <laughs> yeah. What you got here? You're smoking. Con, new orders from the captain. I know. He already sent me the coordinates. Oh, he's smoking. Captain thinks that this could be last score we'll ever need. All of a century. I got the pep talk from him. That's our ETA. It depends. On what? On how long you plan to waste my time. Oh dear. I made the lackey upset. Forgive me. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting. I like her nose ring though. Uh, play it off. Bashing fun. You will bet. I'll break through to you eventually. You want to braid somebody's hair? Go find Maya. I'm busy. We're near Dang. There. It's Hortimer <laughs> for real. <laughs> now every time I see Tornimer, I'm just going to think of this voice. That ship to hell and back. I should check the command console for more. Aliens? Can I look at your cigar? Chewing on that same cigar for weeks. Ew. That sounds disgusting. Chewing? I can run! I am a free woman! Crash couch. Wouldn't want to do a high G burn in one of these. It's bad enough with the juice and the cushy chair. Okay. And what's this? Gunnery station. We haven't had to shoot much, but we keep the PDCs fully stocked. Just in case. Is there a uh, aliens in this? I wonder if there's aliens. As the XO, it's my job to make sure the ship and its crew are in order. I keep a log on the ship and on our scavenge mission. Okay, mission briefing. Ship name, Urshanabi. Ship type, United Nations Navy. Leonidas class. Uh, location, Jupiter orbit. Mission specifications. Enter the ship, scan the area, and return with any valuables. Potential risks. No one knows why the Urshanabi was in this area or why they never sent out a distress signal. Whatever they ca whatever caused the wreck, um, pirates. Pi there's pirates. There is aliens. Martian forces, uh, might still be in the vicinity. Crew. Sea drummer. Okay, that's our crew. Drummer's log. The Ishinabi is a brand new wreck. If Cox's intel is good, the United Nations will likely send another ship to investigate the loss of their navy. But that could take weeks. Cox is overconfident as always, but there could be valuables on board. All right. So we are scavengers. Autonomous logs. What is this? Cox has assembled an interesting crew. The twins, Arlen and Rayan, are the only other belters. The rest come from the inner planets Maya from Mars, Virgil from Luna, and Khan from Cox from Earth. Um, and no one of the inners really talks about what brought them to the belt, but that's no surprise. You don't become a scavenger because things are going well at home. Okay. New log. I ain't gonna read that log. I already read so much. Alright, we're going down. 
It's time to find the rest of the crew. Oh, this makes me so excited for Wolf Among Us too, man. Uh, crew deck? Are we going down to the crew? What's over here? I want to investigate. Oh. Fox needs to get his beauty rest before he gets back to work. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's over here? Airlock prep room. I used to suit up in the prep room with everyone. But I've seen Arlen's and Rayan's asses enough for one lifetime. <laughs> I keep my back to <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we've seen a lot of butts in our life. That's always fun. What is this sign? I don't want to look at the sign. Let's just go. Hey! Oh, your eyes are so pretty. Virgil. Virgil. Exo drummer. <clears throat> Usually medics only know enough to plug that thing in and rig up the morphine dispenser. Well, I took a course in auto dock repair during my residency. Useful for work outside the medical system. It's been giving me abnormal readings since series, but I finally know why. The laser crystal's badly occluded. Oh, okay. Uh, do can Maya fix it? Can it be replaced? That sounds serious. Can we replace it? It can, and should. Normally I wouldn't recommend it. I could always open people up the old-fashioned way. But the twins get into more mishaps than the normal crew. A high-quality gem would ensure that I'm ready for their next disaster. Okay, so we need to find a gem. I assume you can Has <laughs> he tried turning it on and off again? <laughs> what is this time, El Dorado? The Fountain of Youth? I bet not. Let me guess. The Falcon Hood of Venus? The UNN Urshanabi. Cap believes there's something valuable on board. Something special. Do we want to invite that kind of attention? Dude, his eyes are so piercing. In and out. No game. I'll monitor any data you send back. I don't want to be here to patch anyone up, should it come to that. Okay. <sighs> oh, the operating table. When Cox recruited me, a big selling point was the med bay and the medic. Not something you see on most scavenging ships. Mm. Oh wow, you're loaded up on prosthetics too. Should I be concerned that our medic thinks we need this many prosthetics? Does he know something I don't? I think he's just well prepared, which good on him. And I guess that's like just a recovery room. Okay. Let's head to brief the twins. Ooh, it'll be cool to see the twins. What's your excuse this time? You not get enough sleep? You need some aqua caca, huh? Ow. Aqua caca? No, it just fell, okay? Well, I tell you, Tinsha, you stupid prick. We fucking up. Hey, boss man, make it stop. Shut it, Okaka. Ah, uh, can we can we stop this? Enough of this, Falota. And you wonder why I have to treat you like Maliwala. <laughs> we got a job, Baratman. Listen up. Nah, fuck that. I'm tired of rooting around in the dumpster for that Inya. Cox promised us a real payday. He said, give me three months, and you never have to work again. He said, he said, this the next job, and he the boss man. Just like series, bossing everyone around, only this time no dolls to keep you on the leash, yeah? Hmm. Uh, I don't like your tone. <laughs> this isn't serious. On the ship, I'm the EXO. He's gonna kill me later. Now I know it. I was only fucking with you, Copain. The 
on, Baratna. I also like how they're twins, but they don't look like they didn't copy the same model. They actually look like what twins do look like. Like, very, very similar, but they have uh, some differences in them, which I really do appreciate. So far, none of the biomass that's gone through this recycler has been a crew member. I consider that a win. Oh, okay, cool. Supplies are always tight on long jobs, but we're running low on even the basics now. Okay. So, what do we gotta do now? Oh, we're suiting up. So we have to go to our room, right? Five minutes, drummer. We'll do, Boss Mang. Headed back to my room to suit up now. So I guess Boss Mang is like how they address like, alright, boss. <gasps> is that the Texas flag? You got a little doggy, little kitty, it's so cute. Aww. Little cigar box. Uh, cigar box. So that's, this is the... I bet she sniffs that box before she goes to bed. Yeah, this is the lady that we were talking to at the very beginning. Where's our room? Is this ours? This is our room. Oh my gosh, we have no decor. What is wrong with us? What about this room? Mmm. <laughs> Soggy cigar box. Ew. Oh my gosh. What is that? That is an interesting poster. Now I'm curious. Puzzle? Ooh, you decorated your room. Very geeky. If he doesn't secure that thing before we come out of trust, we'll all be finding pieces in our beds. Again. Man, she sounds so- <laughs> Look at that poster! That poster is awesome! Um, what was that? A charm? There was a charm in my room? I'll go take a look. <laughs> look at that drawing, boss me. <laughs> Oh, that's a cool drawing too with a little pug, uh, or just like a little dog. And a little space helmet. Oh, and the little dinosaur! <laughs> that's cute. Opa armband. Man, this person's a doodler. I told him he couldn't wear OPA symbols for the sake of crew unity. So instead, he displays it here like a petulant child. Oh, but that's his past! Alright, that's cool. Alright, back to our room. Do we have like a little charm? Oh, we do a series charm. A little token of my childhood, a series. Mm. Each time it gets another crack, it reminds me of that shit heap even more. Is our character ever happy about anything? I got a lot closer to a captain's chair than I would have expected, and a lot further away from anything else. Oh. Beginner's space flight orbital mechanics. If Sally launches into orbit with a per I'm not reading that. Basically math problems, cool. And a data cube. Those gave me everything. A job, a purpose, a community. Until he took it all away. Oh wow. You think the docks at series were dangerous? Every Ubicha in the belt will be after you now, dead or alive. I told them. Tensha Fopasa Kamina. Even with everything he's done to me, I would never turn Dawes into UN enforcers. Miss Kamina Drummer, our records indicate that you have not returned to your apartment in Hermes Square in nearly two months. As such, we surmise that you have left uh, Ceres Station. Your arrest warrant remains in effect throughout the belt, and if found, you'll be returned to Ceres for indictment and incarceration. However, we are prepared to re-examine the charges against you. You find yourself in possession of of information regarding Anderson Dawes' whereabouts. If you wish to speak further on this matter, our office is willing to compensate you for your time and commitment to the appropriate carriage of justice on Surrey Station. Regards, Detective Yeven Yevgeny Cobb, Star Helix Security. Took every yen I had to get off Ceres without Dawes or Star Helix noticing. Wow. Okay, so it's just our money. Never had time for dating on series. Now I've got plenty of time and no one to date. <laughs> We're sorry to see you go. Hey there, Kamina. Due to the lack of payment, we regret to inform you that your account with low gravity, no pressure has lapsed. We hope that this is a sign that you found the connection you've been looking for. Is this, is this a dating app? Are we paying for a dating app? As the premier website for singles and open-minded couples on series, um, LGNP wishes you the best. If your circumstances change, we'll be proud to offer our fully encrypted, discretion guaranteed services to you again upon receipt of your owed fees. Best of luck out there, 
LGNP assumes no risk or liability. All encounters <laughs> are at the risk of participating parties. Medical and criminal records are available at an extra cost. Please uh, contact us with any questions. Okay. Sure. All right, let's suit up. Oh, we have to turn Where on a mirror? Where are you going to go, Kamina? Huh? Anywhere but here. With anyone but you. <laughs> Hate me all you want. You are many things, Beltaloda, but you are not a traitor. You love your belt. And right now, belt is me. We have a lot of past information that I'm still trying to wrap my head around. They kind of just threw us in. I wonder if there was a different game before this, and maybe that's why I'm a little confused. I don't know, we'll see. Same, I'm so confused, right? We're getting thrown around here. I'm busy. You're late. Quit tinkering and get your helmet. We're about to push off. Fucking make me. Oh, come on. Uh, Melvy Martian. Tip the Martian? With the mouth that only knows how to kiss ass and spew caca. <laughs> spew caca. <laughs> oh, are we sparring? I already beat Arlen's ass today. Yes, but you can handle one more patient. Keep. Oh. <laughs> oh! Press the button! Okay. So we got QTs. I should put you in the brig for this. You'd have to catch me first. Dude, I'm gonna suck if they gave me WSD ones. I'm awful with them. Cutting thrust. Oh wow. You were kicking my ass for a minute. Thought you had me again. That was a good move. <laughs> uh I a little cheap. Kind of a cheap shot though. If it was a cheap shot, I would have smashed your brittle belter bones against the ceiling. Don't believe everything they taught you in the Martian Navy. My bones are just as strong as yours. I didn't believe a single thing they taught me at that fascist brainwash factory. That's why I'm here with you, brittle bitches. Spicy, I know! Are we sensing a connection here? Arlen and Rayan have begun breaching the airlock off the bridge. Once we're in, we are going Holy to- Holy shit, Io! Usually Io is covered up by these dust streams that fire off from its poles after volcanic activity. But it's clear as day. It looks awful. <laughs> I don't want to be mean. It's a, it, it, it's a moon. It looks like any other moon. Pale and lumpy. Don't you talk about her like that. She's a beautiful volcanic goddess. Oh. <laughs> I usually only look for what could kill me out here. But it's nice getting to see it through your eyes. Even if they're the eyes of an inner who doesn't know her ass from her oxygen valve. You mean an inner who pile drived your ass into a ceiling? Oh. Right. There's gotta be some. There's <laughs> tension here. <laughs> Let's head out. Just remember to. Woohoo! <sighs> Oh wow, that's the right. I ship it. <laughs> I 
As I was saying, remember to keep your weight back when you land. Still, not bad for an inner who's barely been in the belt for a month, eh? Reminds me when Rayon and I were learning to spacewalk. One time, he crashed right into the hole and shit his vac suit. <laughs> <laughs> Shut it! Go <laughs> oh. ah. Airlock is open, Exo. Oh, good. Let's see what we have in here. All right. Our first mission. We have a very small crew as well. Well, I guess we don't need a big crew for if we're just a bunch of scavengers. And we just, like, have no fear. We don't care about any of the dangers that could happen. We haven't even scanned the area yet. God, oh, that looks so cool. This looks like trash. Table scraps. Ah! Fuck! Alien? Uh, no! What? These are just heads! Ragna. She's crazy. He's missing an eye! Ew! Oh my gosh! They're like little balloons! Just breathe. Keep your head down. It's okay. Now say puke in your suit, okay? That you won't choke to death on your own sick. Dude, punch him again. I mean, he's being honest, though. Just, no, don't, you don't have to be in this room. Don't, don't be in this room. I'll handle it. Oh, it's so gross. She poked it and sounded like a balloon. The freak! Enough. Whoever put out this welcome gift for us is long gone. And they left behind a big ass ship that must have some valuables still on it. So get scavenging! Cox, why don't you come down here and do it yourself then? You have your orders. Hurry up and do your job so we can get back home. Come on. Okay. Oh, what could have done it? An alien? A human? A machine? <gasps> I'm here with the heads! Just me. Can I walk into them? I can't! <laughs> oh my gosh! Ew! I can't! That's so freaking gross! <laughs> Oh my gosh! Boink! Oh my gosh! Ooh. If I stare at these too long, I might be the one throwing up in my suit. This one is just a helmet though, is it? Or is there a neck in there? You got a neck in there? I don't see it. Oh, it's disgusting! Oh, excuse me. Oh! <laughs> Ew! Okay, we got a new log. Dude, can we look at these logs? Uh... The Earth should not be analyzed the drive signature of the attacking ship before the defense system were compromised. The ship that took them down was sto was a stolen UNN frigate. Um, as if the heads didn't make it clear enough, this attack was the work of pirates. They've already stolen one of UNN's ship and used it to blast the second one to scrap. Whatever their goal is, they're certainly not afraid of pissing off Earth in pursuit of it. Wow. Oh, 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 I'm tilted. That was weird. That was disgusting! Boink! <laughs> it's kind of fun, though. <laughs> Alright, one last little bump and we're leaving. Boink! <laughs> Ew. Okay, let's continue. Oh, hello. Boink! <laughs> Alright, open the bulkhead door. Sure. Quantum processor. Got an intact QPU here. Nice find. Okay, I thought she said GPU. I was like graphics card. 
Oh, that's weird. We could just like walk on walls. That's so cool. Oh, that's so trippy though. Ooh. <laughs> Containment vault. Fuel, oxygen, scrap metal, wiring. If we can use it or sell it, it goes in here. Okay. Torn wall. Pirates tore this place apart. I'm sorry. But, but pirates aren't scavengers. Okay. Is that a headless body? It is. Oh my gosh. That's dis just. Oh my gosh! Like the crew didn't surrender their heads to the pirates without a fight. Keep an eye out for trouble while you're setting up the containment vaults. You ever cut anybody's head off, Fixo? Back when you ran with Dawes? Oh, oh, are those plants? Oh, that's cool. Oh, there's a headless body there, too! Oh, what's happening with his One hand? Time, I cut a man's eyes out when he looked at me funny. He's doing gang signs! <gasps> for real? Sure did. Wore them as earrings the next night. Pusheng Fong. Pusheng Fong. Yeah, uh, how do we get through here? Can we jump? We can! I'm flying! <laughs> Alright, can we look at this wreckage? There must have been one hell of a battle here. Hmm. Doesn't look like a typical pirate attack to me. I agree. Maybe they were looking for something Can big I land? and find it. Left the heads to try and scare off anyone else. There we go. What? What is that little recharge? Oh, maybe they were a bunch of psychotic Pashangwalas. Get your ass moving and we won't have to find out. I'm trying, bro. What is this? Move the bullet torch around to cut uh, out the panel. Okay. Easy enough. Uh, the walking on walls looks confusing. I always find flying a game a bit hard. Does this have anything to do with the show? There's a show? Wait, this is a show? I didn't even know this is a show. <laughs> this looks like a fabricator of some kind. Maybe for material printing? Do we? Yes! Gimme, gimme! No? Okay. So we found one thing, cool. Oh. I've never seen the show either then, Shelly. I didn't even know this was a show. I just saw this on my uh, new game's incoming. Looks like the officer's section is still intact. Go check it out. Well. <gasps> you know the military. The brass always hoards the best shit. Hmm. <laughs> Let's hope so. That's so cool. Alright. Oh, the headless people are here. Can I run into him? Huggies. Oh, he's frozen. <laughs> okay. Gotta go uppies. And press V to display your landing icon. Ah, okay. Clean palladium in this recycler. Good pull, drummer. UNN officers always keep a backup water recycler for themselves. Uh, do you? You were a UNN officer. Do you have a backup recycler for yourself? Of course not. I drink the same cloudy sludge as the rest of you. Ew. Mm hmm. All right, let's look at this. This is Private Takabe. The pirates have asked me to report the following. All crew members, except for those barricaded in the officers' quarters, have been killed or captured. The pirates do not wish to kill anyone else. If you open the gate now and allow them to complete their search, no more lives will be lost. And if you do not comply, oh God, please don't. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, dude. It is getting crazy. Arlen and Rayan's experience hauling minerals on Vesta has been a big help. Even when they annoyed the hell out of me. Oh, man. Okay. 
Ah, ah, wait, wait, wait. All right. Let's see. Anything in here? Oh, there is air filter. Last time Khan smoked a cigar on the ship, Maya had to spend half the day cleaning out the air filter. Oh gosh. Not a lot of particulates in the air filter. Virgil, how long do you think the bodies have been like this? A couple of days. That's my assumption. After analyzing the footage of the heads and the remnants of the precipitating battle. Oh my gosh. What can you tell me about the heads? Medically speaking. From the uniformity of the incisions, it seems clear they were done post-mortem. Very difficult to be precise if the victim is fighting back. Oh. Okay. So they were already dead when they got their heads kablooied. Got it. New log. Temperatures. The temperature in this area spiked when the ship was breached. The attackers used a directed energy gun as a part of their offensive, in addition to whatever torpedoes the P and PDC rounds they used to make it past the Urshanabi's defenses. In order to cut down a ship of this size, the attackers either outnumbered the Urshanabi or outgunned them. I'm guessing this group was small, well-coordinated, and armed to the teeth. I thought Telltale went out of business. Oh, yeah, thank you for the gift, too. Um, it did. I thought so, too. But they're still popping out games. And I looked in, like, in October 2023, they, um, they even said that they were, they had a fire. Not fire, but let go. Oh, my gosh. You're saying that's dead? That's what happens? This is after? There's no way this is after. But... I read something and apparently they were also shrinking their team too, so I don't know Microwave what. Microwave energy gun. Not a bad choice for persuading someone to open a door. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. What happened? I need to know. Skinnies. Bigoted asshole. He still didn't deserve to die like this. Tess, we're being boarded. Don't know how they got past our scanners, but came out, but it came out of nowhere. Keep demanding our surrender, as if we ever surrendered to a bunch of effing skinnies. Lost contact with the rest of the ship. We're going to set up a barricade and repel them. Effing savages. They're breaching. How the frick do pirates get a military grade DEG? Should never have come this far from home. I'm so so aw. Oh man. Hey, come. You've been flying a long time. Ever seen anything like this before? Nah. But when it comes to pirates, nothing surprises me. They're all monsters. Wow. Sounds personal. Put it this way. We ever capture one alive? All I need is ten minutes and my torch blade. The ship would smell like barbecue for weeks. <laughs> she kind of sounds high. <laughs> For weeks, bro. That's what she sounds like. Is there a panel up here that I missed? Just double checking. Okay. Let's head through where we're supposed to go, which is here. Con the goat. Con the Tortimer goat. <laughs> so, about that. It's a fingerprint lock. You're going to need to find the right hand. <sighs> An officer. The bucko. Good news. The logs show that there was one out in the crew mess hall. Second Corporal Horowitz. All right. Might be difficult to get his body back to the door, though. Ah, we're gonna have to. Don't need all of them. You're gonna cut off his hand. Oh God. We're cutting off his hand. Okay, I've been there. All right. Oh man. Find a new laser crystal. Oh, that's our side quest. We still gotta do that, huh? Because we want to get that for medical reasons, right? Alright, that has nothing that for us. Helpful if all the pieces were still together. No such luck. I did run a phase array scan. Everything matched the LiDAR, except for one gap in the captain's Oh, quarters. stop. Go down, you little turd. I'll check it out when I get in there. There we go. Oh, we're gonna have to get someone. Oh, oh, you can go through all of this. Oh, 
Oh, that's awesome. So who's the perfect match? Wait, I kind of need... I, I feel like I have to explore these areas. I gotta find the crystal. Well, she's ahead of the line. <laughs> that wasn't bad, Shelly. Uh, nothing up here? Oh my gosh, the flying here is a bit... It's a bit wonky. I mean, you make all this area. There has to be something here. Oh my gosh. Uh, door. While I hunt for valuables, Arlen and Rayan are back there, grabbing every piece of scrap metal they can pry away. How's the search going? Not much to find in this sea of caca. You? Haven't found much so far. See you, Kaka. You hear that, Baradna? Exo got the easy job inside, and she still can't find for Lota. Uh, your job is easier. No, oh, it must be so hard for you, finding sheets of metal on the hull of a ship. On this wreck, yeah. So much PVC damage. It's nothing but holes. Okay, so this one is just a load of nothing except for a door. I'm just gonna go back through the way I came because I just wanna double check. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Ooh. I wonder. I mean, we have to find the crystal here. So let's go through. Oh, this must be the hall. Your head is still on! Europa's Bane. Anyone heard of it? It's one of two sons of Pata's ships. Ah, fuck. Should've known. Who is that? Latest pirate flavor of the month. Led a mining strike on Europa. Stole a few ships. Now self-employed as a full-time murdering psychopath. UNN has been giving her a wide berth. If she wanted to take out this ship, it means she had a good or she's just a murdering psychopath. Got it. Thanks. Maya, I'm in the mess hall. Time to find an officer. I've linked the personnel records to your terminal. Try scanning the bodies and see if you get a match. Just wanna look around real quick for a crystal. Well, I might as well scan these bodies while I'm at it. Looks like the crew tried to mount a defense here. For all the good it did. Those poor people. Oh my gosh, dude, it's awful. Awful. Have you ever seen anything like it? No. Oh, I know where we are. Not even on series? Not even on series. We were just on the other side of this, where we saw this body. Hashang. Check the shoulders. UNN officers have those fancy bars. Okay, check the shoulders. Got it. It's probably this guy all the way at the end, as usual. Uh, 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 I'm stuck. <laughs> okay. I'm, st uh, there we go. <laughs> the pirates don't have their heads cut off, so I wonder. <sighs> Another pirate corpse. That makes two in here. Better than none. <laughs> Uh, any information on the Europa's Bane? Know anything else about the Europa's Bane? Must be pretty massive to tear apart a frigate. The hell should I know? But if you learn any more about them, feel free to fill me in. Okay. Uh, so I'm assuming it's you. No crystal, though. Sad. I know pirates are vicious, but this is... You hear stories about people who spend too long off station. Go Big Pagal. Big Pagal? My belter is... It means really fucking crazy. <laughs> okay, so they're speaking belter. Okay. Is it you then? This much violence seems pretty Big Pagal. Is it not any of these guys? Can you hurry up? Working on it. Yeah, I'm working on it. I don't. It's not him. I wonder if Toussaint was here herself. Or if she stayed back on the ship like some other captains I know. 
<laughs> Throwing shade at Mr. Neckman. Not here. Unless it's... Is it you? This was a massacre. No other word for it. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Okay. Have you checked the ceiling? If his map boots were off, he might have drifted. Check the ceiling. Ah. Oh. Okay, up here. Wait. No. Oh, this this giant hole. <laughs> Making life hard for myself. Yep. Ooh, can we not? Oh my gosh! Sorry about this. Okay, we don't see it. That's fine. I don't need to see it. Alright. We get our hand. Let's skedaddle. Fuck, fuck, fuck! Rayan, what's happening? Ah, ah, an accident. My leg. Oh, it's fine. Solota, you're the accident. Keep holding. I'll be right there. Drummer, whatever mess he's got himself into, make sure the containment vault is secure. We cannot afford to lose it. Captain, Rayan's back suit is. Not now! Drummer, get your ass over there. Aww. On my way. Is his back suit broken? Is that it for him? Is he gonna die? I hope not. I'm on my way. Please don't be dead. My leg. Hold still. We'll see what we can do. What happened? Unexploded charge, I think. Pirates must have left it behind. Pashang, you didn't scan first. Drummer, his suit is punctured and losing pressure. You need to release the vault and patch him now, or he could die. Oh my gosh. Belay that. That vault has O2. Fuel, armaments. We can't afford to lose it. I'm sorry. Are we deciding a human life over some over lose the vault, lose Rayan's leg? Oh dear. Okay, okay. If we lose the leg, will he live? That's the issue. If he loses the leg, we have prosthetics on our ship. But if we lose the vault, <laughs> I mean, we seem to be fine. Oh no! Because the vault apparently is gonna give us, or is gonna make us rich. That's what he keeps saying: is that the vault's gonna make us rich? The vault's gonna make us rich. So it's like, do we want him to lose his leg, or do we want to keep the money? Oh my gosh, how- but why can't we just like keep- help his leg and then just keep looting the vault? I'm gonna go out on a limb- <laughs> on a limb, get it? And choose to get rid of the leg. Okay! Oh my gosh! I'll do it! Lose the leg! Oh my gosh! Okay! I'm sorry, Rain! Rain will remember that. Freak! I'm sorry, Rain. We're going to have to remove the leg. Nah, nah, you're crazy. We need these supplies to survive. I wish there was another choice. <laughs> what are you doing? Lowering the oxygen intake. It's no morphine, but it'll help. No, no, I can't. Oh my gosh! Be strong, Sokolo. You heard of Barata. Be strong. <laughs> oh, the blood, it's like all like. <laughs> oh. Oh.
she's cooking. We're barbecuing here. Is he alive? Where's Virgil? He's on his way, but Ray is stable and his suit is pressurizing. Okay. Your patch should hold until he's back on board. Okay, he's alive. He's surviving. You did good, drummer. Virgil's entering your sector now. Best thing you can do is hurry up and finish the search so we can get out of here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're leaving him there! We don't even like carry him, we just leave him there! That looks awful! Oh, what? Oh, we're fine now. Is he back there? Oh no, he, he, he is, but... I've made a lot of tough calls. Prioritizing supplies over Rayan's leg was one of the toughest. It was also right. Was it? Was it? We still gotta find that stupid crystal. I hope we get to find one. I'm worried that if we don't find a crystal, that it's gonna end up, like, killing, um, killing one of our members by accident. Like, there's- I had- I didn't see anything back there. There's nothing down there? No. I feel like we've been searching pretty good. Oh, drifting off in space. <sighs> well, what's this? Apparently we can interact with this crate. Oh, graffiti. OPA graffiti on the outside of the containment vault? How dumb can you get? Okay, apparently very dumb. Oh, this is interactable. <gasps> Fuel! Wait, did you just... That was a pressure-sensitive panel. It must be connected to... Quick, get away from there! Oh, no! Hashang, what? Combustion in five, four, three, two... Ha <laughs> ha! Really? She's next. Her leg is oh next. Oh my god. I wish I could see your face right now. Very funny. I hope you're very proud of yourself. I'm gonna be honest. I really am. We just chopped off a dude's leg and you're joking like that. Maya had to spend half the day cleaning out the air filter. Okay. We already said that before, didn't we? Let's take a look, see no panels on the ceiling? What is this? Oh, there's a lot to look around here. Officer Ward. Wait, is this the way to go? I don't want to do that yet, just in case it triggers something. Oh, we've been here before. Oh. Okay, and this is the room with the guy with the notes, right? And then there's... yeah. Okay. Also, why aren't we taking this gun? Can we not, like use that gun for our own i feel like that could be worth something oh yeah we have the hand <laughs> ew ah it looks so weird you're in <gasps> she Let's just left it there and then big shot catch the cell it's the uh. captain i'm prepping mr morris off for surgery thanks to your steady hand is well Let's go. Will he be all right? Minimal vacuum exposure and blood loss. He's a very lucky man. Thanks, Virgil. Glad you were here. All right, he's good. Good. Crystal? What is that? What is that? She won't jump. Are you gonna walk on a wall for it? Can you- Why did you let that fly up there if you're not gonna- She won't jump. What? <laughs> what was the point? Even with the skeleton crew, the UNN would have massively outnumbered the pirates. And still, the pirates cut right through them. Wow. 
67 souls in service, 12 officers presiding. Also, why aren't you... There we go. Cigars! Bob, I have something for you. It's a surprise. The biggest surprise would be 10 uninterrupted minutes without your voice in my ear telling me how to do my job. Can you give me that? I will end you. <laughs> Just doing my job. It's my job to double check everything. That lets you focus on your job, which apparently is making my life miserable. Hold that thought. I need to take a shit. Will you remind me to wipe my ass in ten minutes? <laughs> you know what? Forget about the surprise. Honestly! Already forgot. Wow. They torched all their data. Standard up, but unfortunate for us. Okay, and then star map. This looks pretty cool. What's a UNN escort ship doing alone out here? There's nothing to escort. Besides the pirates, there's no signs of ships in the vicinity. So they must have been traveling alone. Interesting. Hmm. What would bring a ship so far from Earth? Something valuable that the pirates couldn't find, but you will. Did that guy back there shoot himself? He has something in his hand. They don't even get to finish their last words. Wow. Oh man. Any crystal? Still on the search for a crystal. He did shoot himself! Oh, what the frick? This one didn't see any other way out. Oh, awful. Found the captain. Well, most of him. Fucking savages. Okay, let's search him, I guess. A key! Looks like a personal key card. I should find whatever it opens. Okay. Found a key card on the captain. Not sure what it's for, though. Check his room? Maybe he has a safe somewhere that pirate scanners wouldn't have picked up. This is Christian Abasarola, Deputy Undersecretary for Peace Operations. I am denying your request for additional support against Belter hostiles. Captain, you lead a well-armed battleship against a single pirate frigate. You outnumber them five to one. I don't give half a fuck. What ghost stories you have heard about this Captain Tucson? Do your fucking job, or you can hand me your bars directly when you return to Earth to do whatever disgraced soldiers do after they have been retired. Regards, Christian Abasarala. Wow. Okay. <gasps> A taxidermy! A taxidermy mouse! <laughs> I've heard some Earthers find it therapeutic to fly with something that reminds them of life at home. Plants, soil, stuffed animal carcasses. Oh my gosh. Hey Cap, you need any dead animals for your desk? Why the fuck would I? Probably still has rabies. Can I take it? Come on, you're an Earther. You don't want a memento of Earth and its weird mammals? Do I seem like I missed that shit planet? I've been out here for so long, I wouldn't know a ferret if it bit me on the ass. I'll just leave it here. No! Take it! Take it and name it Remy! <laughs> yeah, Mom, Remy! Little red toy boy, come on! Well, that's cool, we got some paintings. Earthers like to visit the parts of their planet that they haven't destroyed yet. <sighs> wow, what year is this? I'm no art snob. But I don't think most paintings are done on iron. There you are. Mm -hmm. We are so clever. So fast with it. Oh! 
Why is the music like this? The music got so tense over a key card. Maybe something good on here. Or maybe a lot of dick pics. Guess we'll see. Cap, found something that could be something. Transmitting now. Fuck. That's a lot of data. <laughs> Alright. Load up the crew and head back. I'll see if there's any gold in this shit pile. We didn't find the crystal. That sucks. I... I thought I looked pretty good for the crystal. Sad. Oh well. I really thought I f Hmm. Bums me out that we didn't find it. Oh, there's us. I didn't see us for a second. Wee! <laughs> Yeah, boss man. Khan's picking up a short the fusion coupling. She needs you to take a look. Now? Is that necessary? It is, if you want to put this wreck behind us. What? I'm on it. Fusion coupling? Oh, that's it! Frick! Where's the wreck? Oh, we're- Oh, there it is. Dang it, dude. Sorry. Oh, that's cool. Is that Artemis? I think with a name like Artemis, we'd eventually hit our target. <laughs> Dang. That's a cool painting, though. Wasn't there something else to look at? There it is. Poor guy lost his leg over nothing. Yeah, poor guy lost his leg over some D-Pigs. Despite Khan's nickname, this cannon hasn't killed anything yet. It did break up some pretty large debris, though. Thing. Yeah, we don't. This. I mean, we are scavengers. We're not really supposed to be in uh in combat all the time, right? So wouldn't that be a good thing that we're not doing combat? This is Drummer, preparing to access the fusion coupling. Stand by. What? What is that? Is that a storm? Maya. Maya. The volcano. It's a volcano. You have to see this. Maya? Is everything. Oh, are, are they starting the ship without me? The backup! Yes, they did. What the heck? What happened? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, here's another one. I just seen them spawn in. It's so weird. So much trash in our ship. Oh my gosh. That was you must be holding on tight. The true definition of hold on tight. Come in. What the fuck is going on? Someone respond. Cox. Oh, did Cox do something? Did Cox abandon us? <gasps> he abandoned us for the money, I bet. That little poop head. Because he said, oh, me and you are going to be really rich. This is the way of it. We all know that. Mm. Oh, look, his prosthetics on. This is part of the pact we make. This 
Drummer was one tough bitch. With her past, I figured she would survive anything. But none of us is immune to the realities of life out here. I know Kamina Drummer. And she wouldn't want us wasting our oxygen on mourning. She'd tell us to get off our asses and get to work. That's the drummer I know. She'd be looking ahead to the next score, the next burn. That's right, boss man. Take yeah. Eyes forward. But that makes it a lot harder to watch my back. You scum. It's over. You're fucked, Pompa. How the hell did you- Zabakawala tried to torch me. Lured me down to the thrusters, hit the engine. Play it off like it was an accident. I bet he was up in the bridge alone before coming down here, yeah? So what? I was setting new coordinates. How, how was I supposed to know you were on the hull? <laughs> you scum. Why don't we pull up the radio locks from the server? Shouldn't take long. Now I understand. Y'all see what's happening? Drummer's making her move. I always wondered when she would. Are you kidding me? You- Why did you do it? Was there something on that drive I found? Can you believe this bullshit? You've been planning this since you first stepped on board this ship, haven't you? Mutinous bitch. Kill him. I don't care what the rest of you think. Cap tried to kill me. Darling, Rayan, take her down to the brig. She's gonna pay for this traitorous bullshit. Are you serious? Do it! Maybe be right, Drama. You can be pretty rough on your crew sometimes. But Beltalorda ain't nothing if we sell each other out to Inyas. Nah. I don't think so, Pampa. Damn skinnies. I should have known. Everybody stay where you are. Stand back. This is still my ship. Why don't you put that gun down, Captain? Oh. We're all crew here. We may be scavengers, but we're not criminals. We follow protocol. We solve disputes with words, not violence. That's how we keep our humanity. Take him to the brig. Give me the gun, Captain. It'll be okay. She's gonna kill me. Yeah. No one is gonna kill you. You're right, the ship will, by opening so the door. Up. Back off. I'm warning you all. Captain. It'll be okay if you just- Bullshit. Tell it to the skinnies, not me. You want to see what happens to you when they're in charge of this ship? Maybe we should tell them who you really are. <laughs> oh my gosh, drama. Who got shot? Fuck. No! Okay, it's just her arm. It's just her arm. It's fine. It's just her arm. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so sorry. The, the, it's not, not your fault, do your job, not your, uh, just, just, uh, just do your job. Be sorry later, right now do your job. What happened to do no harm, asshole? <laughs> oh, Tortimer, no! Are you okay? I'm good. Good. I'll man the bridge while you sort out this shit show. Woo! Just don't touch anything! I'll be right there! As soon as Dr. Dipshit here is finished. So he has a secret identity, it seems like. I did everything for you, drummer. I could have turned you over to Dawes a hundred times, but I didn't. Because we made a deal. A deal is dead. <laughs> Thanks for the new piece. Oh no. Don't you fucking dare. Don't you dare. Take him to the airlock. Oh, no. Yes. No, drummer. No, let me go. Drummer, no. 
Please dumb her now. Oh, she looks so pissed. She's so cool. Alright, so now we're caught up to what the game was showing us at the beginning. Okay. Listen, come on. <laughs> Not so tough now, are you? Listen to me, damn it. Drummer, listen to me. The coordinates on that data drive. They're for the MK core. You've never heard of it, that's exactly my point. Look, you were right, okay? They did try and take you out. I've heard how you ungrateful fucks all talk about me. Why should I let you cash in now? Wow. But really, I... I wanted the profits for myself. That's not a shock. Because this score, drummer, this is the greatest score any scavenger has ever come across. Don't let money block your mind. That's what I think. We've heard it before. Spare us the bullshit. We've heard it all before. Not from the inside of a fucking airlock. Look. When you find what's at the other end of those coordinates, the whole system will be on your ass. You'll need me if you want any chance of unloading it. I'm a bastard, okay? I know. But I'm not crazy. Throw me in the brig. You'll be glad I'm still here when the time comes. Listen to me, damn it. Gunner, listen to me. I don't... I'm making a choice, right? Space him, throw him in the brig. I'm not on team kill. I'm, yeah, there seems to be a brig. I think we should put him in jail and then use the information. You don't trust him? Oh, man. I just think, I think if we were going to miss, like, a lot of info, because if he knows it, if he knows what's on the other side, then we could just go down there and be like, hey, what's the T? And then if we kill him, we're kind of like going in in the dark. And if anything, we could kill him later. Maybe. Hopefully. He'll find his way out. Ugh. I don't know. I just feel like if we space him, it'll waste a lot of, like, extra story we can get to. And who knows, maybe watching stuff go down might be good. He literally chose to kill you. Oh, I don't know! <laughs> My brain! Okay, okay. I'm going to go against... I'm going to go against what, what you're saying. I'm sorry, Moth. I'm conflicted, but I think it would be smarter to throw him in the brig. I think it would be smarter. Oh, fuck, drummer. Thank you. But punch him. Thank Don't you. touch me! Oh. Yeah. Tie him up. Yes. What? What now? We're so short. <laughs> We're so short compared to the twins. Wait, no. Did they just... Did the twins just walk with me? No, wait. Stay. Stay and... Okay, the twins are there. Hopefully, with We've him still. Walked. Cox forgot to hide our drive signature. Hashang. Of course he did. <laughs> Captain? Captain Drummer, what are your orders? Oh. Captain Drummer, what are your orders? <sighs> We're making decisions now. Oh, that's episode one! 
That's it? Wait, is there more? Please tell me there's more. I have the next episode, right? It's not just episode one that's out right now. Right? All episodes are out? Includes all five episodes. Okay. Let's keep going. I'm sorry? Uh, can we skip the credits? Uh, oh, we can look at the choices now! Okay, so drinking with Cox. 35% didn't drink with Cox. You know what? I'm glad I didn't drink with him. Khan's insult. Drummer tried to get Khan to like her. 53%. Okay, we're at the majority of that one. Drummer broke up the fight between Arlen and Rayan. As you should. There's no reason to let them bully each other. Um, punching Arlen. Drummer part. Okay. We're in the majority. The only thing we're in the minority is drinking right now. 99. Drummer got the upper hand before Maya pinned her. Wow. 1%. Drummer was easily beaten. I don't understand why that's a thing, because this was a tutorial. Rayan's crisis. 29. Oh. Drummer sacrificed Rayan's leg to save the vault. Drummer protected Rayan and lost the vault. But he has his leg. He was the guy that was dragging out uh, the captain. He, so he's fine. That's fine. Drummer told Virgil to do his job. Drummer told Virgil the shooting was not his fault. It was his fault, though. He lunged for the gun. That's not a shocker. He lunged for the gun. It was his fault. Um, what is this? Oh, I skipped it. I skipped a good bit. Drummer laughed off Maya's prank. Drummer threatened to retaliate for Maya's prank. Drummer didn't- or Maya didn't play a prank on Drummer. Oh, that's an option. That's cool. Drummer asked Khan about her past with pirates. Oh, Khan was a pirate. Drummer didn't ask Khan about the past with pirates. Drummer didn't talk to Khan about pirates. Okay. And... 69% Drummer threw Cox in the brig. Alright, so we're in the majority, except for the crisis and drinking. I can live with that. I am going to start the next episode. Because what, I think I plan on streaming the Wallace and Gromit Please, later. Amina, don't do this. Take him to the brig. all those tubes how long until the pirates are back in range hour maybe two depending on burn same as last time and the time before that and the tin time before that yeah see they're fine where's the captain how are you doing or the old captain I'm not the one we need to worry about Oh, is she okay? Oh, did the shot really get her? Her body can't heal under this burn. Even Khan needs to rest sometime. You'll figure something out. I know you will. <sighs> Dang. Motherfuckers! Shouldn't be possible! ETA, eight minutes! They must have increased their burn this time. Uh, Wait, don't these Pashangwalas rest? Humans rest. Pirates? They're fucking animals. We need to do something about your arm. Virgil has the med bay prepped and ready. It's fine. Hardly hurts anymore. Uh -huh. We're outgunned and nearly out of fuel. Unless we come up with a plan to shake them soon, infection's gonna be the least of my problems. Shoot. No, we don't need to worry about Cox. Cox is in the past. He's a scam, scummer, scummy, scum, scam. What should we do? What do you think we should do? 
What do I think we should do? Besides find ourselves a captain who knows how to make decisions? I was asking your opinion. My opinion is that there is no good option. Whatever you choose will be wrong. And it's your fucking job to choose, Captain. You're so great, Tortimer. Great at motivation. Coordinates, 8214. What are we looking at? Fuck if I know. It's the ship's graveyard. Debris field. Caught in orbit around that body. There's nothing registered there. How do you know? Back when I was MCRN, there were reports of a proxy battle right around here with UNN forces. Never confirmed, but seem legit. Or much more likely, it's some solar backscatter, radiation cluttering, or any other fucking thing. <sighs> How confident are you? How sure are you? Jeez, after the last few days? I'm not sure I could tell the difference between a pistol grip ratchet and a flex head. <laughs> 80%. New plan. We run for cover in there. Okay. Won't work, boss man. Even if we break their lock, they'll be able to track our drive flume. There won't be a drive flume. We burn hard for here first, then cut engine and turn into orbit. Let it carry us around until we land in the debris. Slingshot. Fuck yes. Good work. If there is actually something there. Stations! Cons! On my board, loose a PDC volley, then turn and burn. What's going into their backs, though? Are those, like, needles? It's so weird. <laughs> oh. That's so cool. Five G. Six G. Turning now. Landed in the debris field. It's your turret! You did it, boss man! Fucking legend! Quiet! Was it them? Are we safe? That was pretty cool. It's pretty intense. We don't have much time. The pirates are searching for us, and we can't run again without more fuel and reaction mass. Harlan? The Rotna and I will head out and start scanning. Oh, is he okay? Has he got tremors? Captain, I'm prepped for surgery as soon as Khan is ready. 
tell that waste of oxygen I wouldn't be needing surgery if he didn't freak out the first time. <laughs> I'm still here. <sighs> You'll be fine. Don't worry. Virgil won't let you die. He handled Rayan's surgery just fine. The prosthetic is ready. Is the uh, patient? You're cutting off the entire arm? You're not gonna- fine. But you're staying to make sure Dr. Dipshit doesn't cut off the wrong arm. They can't just fix the bullet wound? Or is it just that infected? Is that what they just like, choose to do? Okay. I didn't think they were gonna cut off her arm. They're just throwing prosthetics left and right over here. Ship's graveyard, debris field, near an orbital body. Oh, we're out. Scanners aren't picking up any signs of fuel. Keep looking. Meantime, I'll go for the reaction mass. Okay. What a mess. We're concept seeing the percentages on the so choices. And what's a Belta ship doing in the middle of it? Who knows? Hopefully they all got some reaction mass on board though. Um Th that's kind of normal though for Telltale. Usually at the end of every episode you kind of see what the mass did, which I thought was always like a uh, damn fun. The blast doors to the Laguin are locked down. Not sure if there's a way to open them. Always a way through. If you got enough explosives, go check out the other ships. I'll see what I can rig up. You want to use explosives to blast through a blast door. <laughs> Guess that could work. Would it? I don't think so. Also, can we leave the- can we get the twins away from doors and explosives? Because they seem to be keep losing limbs. Can't even tell which ship is which. It's all blasted to for loader. There's definitely more scrap here than a few ships can account for. Maya was right. This was a full-on proxy battle. With a Belta ship at the center. Okay. If you're lost, press- I already know that. You don't need to tutorialize me. Okay, what is reaction mass? Were they planning for an interrogation? And why'd they start shooting? Huh. Hmm. The Martian ship had focus drugs on board. Must have wanted to question someone. I hate those things. Rayon and I got busted by the NCR in once. Didn't think I'd leave that interrogation room alive. Watching that Martian's eyes go all weird. Last time we ever stole anything on Vesta, had to move to Ceres and start stealing there. Oh, there we go. Gosh, flying is a little bit wonky still. Oh, a coffee machine. Typical Inyos. Travel all the way out here, yet can't break free from their peppy plant extract. Peppy plant extract. Some don't have anything real to care about. Dude, our character is like the most negative of negative Nancys. Mushroom powder. Virgil will probably appreciate these mushrooms. Oh, maybe he'll make white kibble when we get back. Cap, what do you think of Virgil? You trust him? I feel... <sighs> I do. a smart man. And a reliable medic. Until he got our pilot shot, you mean? Might be able to rewire this guidance system to work with our ammo. It was good enough for Earth and Mars to tear each other apart. And neither side surrendered. Even after taking heavy fire. Stupid Inyas, they never know when to quit. 
I need to I need to probably look up the show and learn the lingo because sometimes what they say I'm so confused. Like skinnies, I don't get it. Maya is always complaining about the tools in the engineering bay. Maybe an MCRM model would cheer her up. Yeah, Cap. Cheer up the Martian girl with your tools. <laughs> Hashing bong. Cheer up the Martian girl with your tools. I'm sure Khan will be fine, but it wouldn't hurt to check on the crew. Don't want to interrupt, but how is everything down there? The auto dock kept us on track, but Virgil had to do some of the larger incisions himself. Khan will be out for a while. When she wakes up, we'll try to attach the prosthetic and... What the... Oye, Maya. Shit. What just happened? Found some reaction mass. Toss it to me. I will store it. Nice toss, Cap. <laughs> Woo. I love these. Oh, his hair's clipping from his helmet. That's weird. <laughs> Probably noticed. The Baratna has been a little edgy lately. Ray, your brother has been an angry Pasheng Wallow since my first day on board. This is different. He's he's got the shakes. It's the pixie dust. Pixie but dust. He's been clean for almost a year. He takes some meds that help keep him straight. But we haven't done a supply run in weeks. Yeah, ran out of toxiperidone three days ago. Oh, I just was here. Don't worry, boss man. You'll be fine. Stop. tough. But thought you should know. Hmm. All right, so our lovely crew member is on pixie dust. <laughs> okay. I'm assuming it's just some sort of drug, and he's going through withdrawals. How are you getting pixie dust here? Were we here? Oh yeah, we were here. We did the blast with the blast door. Okay. We saw it all, it seems like. Cause every time I try to look something look for something, I just end up going back to the same spot. How about here? Find medicine for Arlen. I'm trying. Is he gonna like die if I don't? Or is this just like a little bonus thing? I'm so worried that if I miss up with these uh medical stuff that I'm just Gonna kill everyone. Anything over here? No. Hmm. Oh wow. I hope Khan's surgery goes well. For her sake and Virgil's. Maya? Status report? Fire the torpedo! Get those sons of bitches a welcome! Or I'll throw you in the brig! Sit down or I'll cut off the other arm! What? Why is she angry? Is that Khan? Why is she so angry? Something about bogeys on the radar? She's a little woozy from anesthesia. I hope she passes out again. I'm gonna draw on her face. <laughs> Maya is such a prankster. Alright, nothing there. What's over here? What is that? What is that on the floor? Oh, that's weird. Gotta take a look-see. Gotta scan the area. Kalav? Kalash? Is that food? Ugh. And Inya say that Belta food is disgusting. Bruno's? Hmm. Real Earth Whiskey. Even Cox has to settle for the belt of stuff. Cox, I need you to tell me everything you know about this Toussaint and the Europa's Bay. They're pirates, what's to tell? Helpful as always. I'll leave you to enjoy the brig. Wait, wait. Is Khan a... I mean... How is she? She'll live. No thanks to you. Or that hothead Virgil. He's the one oh who lunged in and made the gun go off. It's not gonna help Which your was case. In response to you provoking him. You seem to say that he was hiding something from us. Maybe. Let me out of here and we can talk about it. 
Mm, no. Yeah, you wish, buddy. Arthas love their oceans. Too bad they destroyed them all. We destroyed our oceans? What do you mean? How do you destroy an ocean? Maya seemed willing to help with Khan's surgery. Hope she doesn't regret that now. We keep calling Maya. Is everything, um... Okay, she just said we've been boarded. And now she's wandering around looking for intruders. So, everything's fine. Uh, that's that's not fine. What if she if you have her wandering around? What if she like touches something? Maya, uh, this is Khan we're talking about. No one knows what she's capable of. You need to hide. First of all, fuck you. Second of all, she's gonna hurt herself if she. Wait. Hey there. Do you wanna lie down for a minute? Do you wanna fucking die? Uh, oh no. Yeah, not she's fine. Happen. Very proud of his connections to the UN and brass. Okay. Uh, do it. I mean, is there anything on here? No. This just so the Belters stole some tech from the MCRN. That's how this started. Then why did the UN get involved? Uh, they're. Selfish. They figured that whatever the belters had, it was worth taking. Of course they did. Yeah, I wouldn't be shocked if. Can we go up there? No, that's blocked off. So I'm guessing Khan isn't human. I don't know. Is there alien? Are these like just different? Got a barrel here. I'll take that. I think I said that Khan was human. From Earth. Good work, Sasata. Boss Mang, I got everything hooked up to blow the door. Head back to the Laguin and check it out. Got it. Okay. Hopefully we'll find enough reaction mass to get out of here. And then what? We going treasure hunting? Yeah. You think those coordinates go anywhere interesting? Uh... Cox did. Cox said those coordinates were valuable. But Cox started talking just to get out of the mess he made. You been near a brig lately? Since you save his ass, Owala never shuts up. <laughs> Sorry. These boots might fit Khan. Once I get the feet out of them. Oh, uh, what? Ew. feet are a good sign. Means they work. Oh my gosh, that's disgusting. Oh, we're going this way. And boink. Cool. Explosives are set. Good work, Kamina. Now let the whole station see what happens to traitors who sell out the OPA to the Indians. Man, she's she's been through a rough time, but she's so cool. I'm in. These shots are cool too, so cinematic. Uh, let's take a little browse, let's browse. Anything? No, doesn't look like it. Uh, no. It, I wanna go around. Is there anything over here? No, nothing over here, okay. Hmm, another blast door. Pashing. Fine, I'll get more explosives. No need. I should be able to access the lockdown controls from the bridge. Good thinking, Cap. You can still find more explosives. Just in case. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, we're going up. Cargo bay. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, see, like, what are these, like, wires? It seems to like connect to them because then you can see like the holes there. So I wonder if it like helps them with with G. Wouldn't let anyone get their hands on that tech. Good for them. They were heading toward Titania to link up with the Belta sect there. Almost made it. Dang. What was the point of fighting the entire time if both of you were gonna basically lose? 
All right, what's here? Looks like the crew tried to record a message. This message is to all Erda and Martian security forces in the area. We have received your warnings and demands, and this will be our only response. The MCRN says we have stolen their property. The UNN says we are traveling illegally in their sector. We recognize neither of your claims over us. This is our family. Wow. Stand down now and let us keep our course. We will either join our OPA Baratnas on Titania or sacrifice ourselves to your destruction. There is no other option. Beltalada, who here is prepared to die for your belt? Beltalada! 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 Jeez. Did you hear that? Alright, thanks for joining, Mon. Have a good night. Bye. What was the message? Uh you can't control us. That the inners may control everything, but they can't control the belt. And they'll never control Beltos. Brave coils. Alright. Disengaged. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Is there anything here? There might be actually something here. Did we go through this area? I don't think so. Iron Terminal Bratnas, your Titania OPA family await you with open arms and fully loaded railguns for any Salbuckwallas following in your walkie. Hee <laughs> hee. The solenoids t you took from the MCRN, justly of course, are going to advance our Terra work here incredibly. We are on the path to having the first autonomous Belter land base, and that is all thanks to you. So keep burning hard, there will be plenty of rest and celebration when you get here. De Furi de da Belt. Okay. If there's one thing all Belters can agree on, is that the moldy Belters kick ass. <laughs> okay, so we actually have taste. We actually appreciate something. There's nothing there. Auto dock. If Maya and Khan start fighting, there won't be any ship left to go back to. Please tell me you're still alive. Okay. Khan and I had to trade a few punches, but we got her calm enough to attach the prosthetic. Aww. Worried about me? No. Was this where it just was? You had it under control. A rampaging pilot on a drug fueled hallucination? I never doubted you for a second. Oh, no, 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 no. Goddamn right. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to find an ice pack. Okay, then maybe there's something that went here. surprisingly well. I already searched this area. Okay. Alright, there's nothing. Cool. Was this a panel? Yeah, cool. What, was that panel for anything? Did we collect that panel? No. What was the point? Um... Let's see, is there anything else here? Dang, I thought I searched so well here too and I didn't find this freaking medicine. Data cube hacker. This data cube hacker might be useful. Ooh, okay. Sure, might let you break into Rayon's special data drives. Set up push to! Found another barrel. Woo! Faces loaded! Or whatever the Inyad say. <laughs> <laughs> Touchdown! Woo! <laughs> Got some radiation from a nearby ship, the Manitoba. All right, see you later, Shelly. Mostly intact. Maybe a few pellets too. Boss man, that's the far edge of the debris field. You'll be exposed. Oh. Need to head back to the Artemis. Everyone stays on the ship, but be ready to pick me up on my order. 
Oh, are we going out there on our own? going to happen. <laughs> I just love the position. I'm floating. Oh, that's not ours, is it? Is it ours? No, it's not. They locked us? No, it's a broadcast. But they must know we're close. Patch it over. <sighs> there is no sense in running anymore. You know who I am, and I am looking forward to meeting you. Contact me to discuss the terms of your surrender. Or just sit and wait until we find you. It's only a matter of time. Shit, shit, shit! Cap, you got to get back here. Not without fuel pellets. Stupid drone is stuck. Are we taking him out? Are we gonna push him? They will all be so easy to kill. Oh Virgil, my if I respond, God. will they be able to trace the signal? No, it will only confirm you are in broadcast range. But they seem pretty sure of that already. Put me through. Captain Zapata, this is Kamina Drummer of the Arsenal. I don't want to fight you, but keep sending your crew after me, and I'll be forced to keep killing them. Okay, so we don't want to mess with these drones. Oh, that one was clipping. Oh! <laughs> oh! Okay, that was close. What the frick? Okay. You're a long way from Siri Station, Kamina Drama. You've heard of me? I've heard of your work and your bounty. But if I'm speaking to you, what happened to Garrison Cox? He attempted to double his profits. As a result, I am now captain. Not surprising. There's no loyalty among scavengers. Not that the OPA is any better. You must really enjoy the company of miscreants. Ooh, okay, a couple close calls there. It's not too bad. Honestly, if you're faster than when the drones spawn, it's it's not bad at all. Okay, I need to get there. Right? Do I? No, but I, maybe I need to wait for it to pass. Oh, there it is. There we go. Cool. Oh, what? Oh, what? over here. Oh. That's cheating. Hey, you're not supposed to be on the ceiling. No, oh, I clicked the wrong thing. Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. <laughs> my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh no. We're a good shot. Look at that. That's cool. This uh, this one's more forgiving than their other Telltale, where if like you mess up, you can always retreat. You can do it again. Something. Protect the rest of your crew. Your reputation is well earned, Captain Drummer. Daniel and Yuri were, they were two of my best. But their needless deaths do not change. Enough. I've had a very long week in a crash couch because of you. Either fall back or keep sending your men to die. Those are your options. 
Okay. It's getting tense. It seems like you don't have to worry about them being at random spots, though. Ooh, look at that! More guns! Take them! Gas pellets? That's so weird. It's like a little cereal. Did they just not see us? Please tell me this thing has ammo. I'm on my way. No! Everyone, stay back! Ooh. What's happening? Why are the pirates pulling away? There are always more options, Captain. I'll have the coordinates. Even if I have to come through rubble to find them. Goodbye. You're bluffing. Hello? Jusong! Come on. Gotta be some ammo left. PDC delivery. We said stay back! Oh, fuck off. I told you to stay on the ship. Reprimand me later. Just let me do my job now. I don't know what the fuck you two are doing, but I'm approaching your location on control thrusters for whenever we shut off. Glad you're back at your post. Okay, so she's better. Good. What are you waiting for? We only get one shot before they go off. There! Oh my gosh, this is so intense! Switch over to the next missile. <laughs> this is so cool. I'm holding. I'm freaking okay. So if you press before, it's gonna. It's not gonna do it. Oh come on! Can we shoot them now? Yeah. Oh, it's your time. That's it. That's it? That's all it took? Oh, yeah! Did you see that? Uh oh. Uh, keep shooting! No! Are we okay? We should be fine. We're fine. We're fine, right? We did it! <laughs> okay. Celebrations are in order. Hey! Heck yeah! All right, come on, we can get up now. No need to chill out for so long. Whew. Seems like we're making okay decisions so far, but I can't find these stupid medical supplies. Coordinates are set for the MK core. Time to see what all the fucking fuss is about. With the fuel you found, we should have no problem getting there and back to Ganymede at least. And how is the new prosthetic?
It'll do. It's a lighter. Is that a lighter? I can see that it Get flips. Get some rest, Captain. No telling what we'll find at those coordinates. Yeah, her middle finger is different. Maybe it's a lighter. That would be cool. <sighs> I'm gonna talk to you again. I've never had anything resembling a civil conversation with Khan before. But I've also never had a cigar to ply her with. Hey, Khan. Resting. Go away. No? How about now? <clears throat> Don't we have the uh, cigars for her? Cigar. I found this cigar on the Urshanabi. Thought you might want it. But I could always give it to the twins. Don't you dare so. give it to those two morons. They use it as a butt plug or something. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. First taste. You earned it. No, I didn't get my arm cut off. Uh, you keep it. It's a gift. It'd be wasted on me anyway. You're right about that. I knew it! <laughs> husband, Bao, he used to hate when I smoked. Said it was 40 minutes of pleasure for three hours of cleaning out the air vents. Aww. He wasn't wrong. What happened to him? Pinafore, a small transport skiff owned by Trackman. I was pilot, Bao was chief mechanic. Boring work. Little outside contact. Exactly what we wanted. There'd been reports of pirates along our heading. Usual shit. We weren't worried because what's the point? And besides, we had our protocol protocol a maneuver we practiced case of hostile boarding I'd feign submission hands behind my head and when Bao thought the moment was just right he'd say the code word and hit the deck and then modified SMG with heat targeting rounds I could draw and fire the clip in five seconds easily take out an entire raiding party Oh. It's impressive. That is actually a solid tactical maneuver. Pirates wouldn't expect a weapon there and Bao would be safe on the floor. I know. So what happened? Pirates came for us like we feared. They boarded the pinafore. I drew them in. Got them occupied, and at the right moment, Bao said the word. And I froze. Ah! Oh. I'd never fired live rounds in battle before, and I suddenly doubted myself. What if the clip was jammed? Would it even fire? Maybe these pirates weren't so bad. It was just a moment, but it was enough time for an antsy pirate fuck to grab me and shoot my bow. Uh, it's not your fault. I've seen a lot of combat. 
Prepare all you want. No one knows how they will respond until the moment comes. Bowser's death was not your fault. No, it's not. Maybe. Maybe not. Doesn't matter much anymore, does it? No. Don't you want to know the code word? Artemis. I'd never heard of her. It was Bao who read all the Greek bullshit. Apparently, she and I shared a few things in common. Great beauty. <laughs> Your ungodly beauty. Fuck you. <laughs> Mostly, he said it was because I never missed my shot. Aww. I'm sorry. Tell you what? If I ever get the chance, you bet your ass I won't flinch again. Well, that's good. <sighs> it makes sense why you're so tough. Alright, let's talk about something else. Destination? Any guesses on our destination? Nada. All I know is that it's far the fuck out there. So whoever hid that treasure wanted it far the fuck away. Okay. Uh, pirates. Can you believe how vicious these pirates are? Yes. I mean, how they were willing to blow us up just to prove a point. Yes. Wow. So you don't think there's anything special about them? Yes, I do. They seem to have more guns. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you, Khan. It's good talking with you, Khan. Okay. Feel better, Khan. Rest easy. You deserve it. Okay. Alright. Uh, solenoid analysis? Mars was running an analysis on the solenoid technology that the Belters stole. Why would they be attempting to reverse engineer their own design? Maybe the Belters on board of the Leguin weren't thieves. Maybe they were engineers, contractors, who created a technology that they knew that they would never profit from, and the belt could never afford. They tried to share their work with the people who needed most, and they were killed for it. Hmm. Alright, where's Maya? Khan is the greatest character in my opinion. I agree! It's been a rough week. I should check in with the crew and see how everyone's doing. Khan is good and tough. But I love the twins too. Alright, nothing here. What is this? What am I looking for? Oh, whiskey! Or scotch. Sure, I'll take it. Cox won't be coming out of his cell for a long time. Might as well give him some company giving that to him you think i'm gonna give cox some whiskey you're wild cox was even more unhinged than i imagined daily affirmations you are the captain of the artemis in rank and title and this bestows upon you a tremendous and fearsome power you are an arbiter of justice of wealth of accolades and personal com accommodations treasured by your crew you are not a baby <laughs> a baby dicked kibblehead khan has never seen you naked and therefore cannot judge your manhood which is in fact adequate <laughs> your crew respects and fears you even drummer khan's insults are a sign of respect arlen and rayan are not plotting to overthrow you the martian is sexually attractive you and you have chosen not to pursue her due to your sense of discipline which is soon to be rewarded with tremendous wealth you will have tremendous wealth and all who doubted you will cry your drinking is not a problem <laughs> this is a joke <laughs> 
Oh my gosh, I need a daily affirmation like that. That would that would boost my moral. Oh my gosh, yes please. Let's see here, ship registration. New artist song. So Khan, not Cox, is the owner of the Artemis. No wonder the records are spotty. Khan loves flying, but she doesn't seem like she has the patience for paperwork. Khan's relationship with Cox makes a lot more sense now. Cox never put up with anyone's disrespect, but he always gave Khan a wide berth. Their arrangement gave him a solid ship and a talented pilot, and Khan got someone to handle all the boring logistics and let her do what she does best, fly and swear at people. Okay, so it's Khan's ship. That makes sense. Decryption keys? Passing voila. I knew Cox was paranoid, but spying on his crew? Really? Your Whimsy Enterprise data cubes come preset with biometric and alphanumeric decryption keys. Please supply the following keys to each individual crew member for personal data security. Wow. So that's why the ship was called Artemis. Okay. Because I was wondering why it would, it would be called Artemis if it's not her ship. Or, yeah. But it is... Okay. Alright, so we know that Cox is greatly insecure, especially about his manhood. We can use that against him. Uh, give Virgil the mushroom powder. Oh. Oh, wait, I want to do that. Okay, over here. Might as well browse while I'm going there. Anything over here? Okay. Let's go give the mushroom powder. Oh, Virgil! Oh, hey, twins. Are they sleeping? <laughs> Arlen treats Rayan like he's the weak one. But I haven't heard a single complaint from Rayan since his surgery. That's true. Rayan took it like a champ, dude. Oh, hey, Virgil. Maya and Virgil learned a lot of Langbelt to swear words in the past week. Khan seems to already know them all. <laughs> uh, okay. Kaka, excrement, boss man, boss employer. Okay, so this tells us. There's nothing on here about skinnies, though. I keep hearing skinnies. Boy, boy dang, for good. Tucky, tucky, <laughs> tucky, tucky, that's cute. I'm to nothing. Uh. Oh wow, a lot of lot of curse words. You cooking? What are you cooking? He's jamming. Whatever Cox was saying about Virgil's past clearly upset him. I need to know what it was about. That's sure we do. He's not in the clear yet. Hey. What's on your mind, Captain? Here's some mushroom powder. I found some mushroom powder for you to cook with. Bursting with umami. Ooh. You're welcome. Exceptional. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. Oh, you're welcome. And let's get into the nitty gritty now. Cox said you were hiding something. Something that Beltas wouldn't like. Cox is a habitual liar. First, he tried to murder you. Then he tried to deflect blame onto me. So there's... Nothing else you wish to share? Nothing you're hiding? No, Captain. No more than anyone else on this ship. Hmm. You're really hiding it. Get some rest, Virgil. Will do, Captain. He seems nice. He just... How bad is his secret, man? Oh, he's quiet now. Okay. Let's go talk to Maya. Which is, I guess, over here. 
Is there... That's the bedrooms. Is there... Where's the brig? I kind of want to go to the brig and just see what it looks like. Maya! What are you listening to? It's Martian music. You wouldn't like it. Try me! I'll decide what I like and don't like. Wow, that's so pretty. It's so nice, so pretty. Well, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful song. My mom used to play it for us on the guitar. Half the time she'd break down crying and not even finish it. Oh. <laughs> it reminded her of my dad. funny. I hate my dad. I hate the army he died for. And I hate Mars. But I still miss it. I think that's valid to miss it. Khan's arm. Khan seemed pleased with her prosthetics. Particularly the... Extra feature. You included. That's good. Although you realize we just took the most unhinged person on the ship and gave her a bionic skull crusher for an arm. <laughs> I think if Khan wanted to kill someone, she could do it without arms or legs. Thank you. What you did in the debris field was incredibly reckless. You disobeyed my order. And you put the whole- Oh my god. You're fucking welcome. Yeah, you- you really did it. I was getting to that. Thank you. Anytime. Without I her, we would've totally been dead. Wait. Um. About that moment in the airlock. Cool. Yes? Are you feeling any better? I know you were pretty scared, given how tightly you were holding my hand. Um, uh, you held my hand. Thank you. I'm pretty sure you grabbed my hand in there. Oh, sure. We can go with that if you want. I'm just saying, I'm here for you to talk. The only thing we need to talk about is your delusion of fantasizing about me. I get it. It must be hard for the boss Meng to express her feelings. Especially to the hot Martian engineer who can totally <laughs> kick your ass. Not according to that scoreboard. Oh, she has a little pink in her hair. That's cute. My point is, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Mm. Even if you did clink helmets with me. Clink helmets? What is that supposed to mean? I think you know exactly what it means. Helmet clinker. Uh, trying to kiss? Typical dumb Martian. You try to kiss a woman, but forget to take your helmet off first. If I did try to kiss you, there'd be no fucking confusion about it. Ooh, the tension! You know, we could stand here talking about hands and helmets. We could go back to my room and settle it. Uh, oh my gosh! Okay, I gotta change it up. By fighting? I'm confused. Are you still trying to fight me? Oh my gosh! Either way, someone will definitely be getting slammed against a wall. Okay, <laughs> oh my gosh, someone cranked up the spice levels in here. Ooh. <laughs> oh 
Okay, okay. Woo okay. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is it hot in here? Okay, we're just but without the fuel, ammo, and oxygen it contains. They could end up losing a lot more than just a leg. Alright, we're just playing that off. So am I. So am I. Yep. Oh, is Cox here? Hey loser! I'm not giving you scotch. Cox doesn't seem too bothered by his demotion. Oh, you're just hey, look it's me. Uh speak. Don't open the door. Cox. Oh. You got a little something right there. Then kindly fuck off, Captain. Why would we let you out? Why do you think you're deserving to be let out? Because you're clearly not. He is in Delulu land. I'm not giving him scotch. He can go. He can go. Be a small weenie. Oh, okay. That was very eventful. Um, get some well-deserved rest. Okay. If I sleep with Maya, the entire crew will know about it. Nothing stays secret on a ship like this. Is one night worth all the drama? I personally don't think so, because then... You get into the whole thing of, like, power balance and all that. Go to Maya's room, go to your room. I genuinely, genuinely saying this, I don't think it's a good idea. Only for the fact that it does issues with power balances. Which we've been seeing a lot lately with the whole internet parasocial relationship stuff that's been happening. It just ends up tearing down the entire thing. I don't think it's a good idea. I think if we were off the ship and we had availability to go elsewhere and all that, I just don't think in the ship, as our first day as captain, basically, we're out here screwing other people. We're going to our room. We gotta, we gotta make a pro we gotta be professional. Maya will remember that. Maya needs to get off of her horny horse. She needs to get bonked. Sleep, Captain. <laughs> what? Hush, Shang. Are you watching me? No. <laughs> okay. Now sleep. Yeah, see that? Khan is watching too. Khan would have seen that immediately. So I wonder if Khan has cameras in everyone's room. I don't know. I feel like we made the right decision there. I wonder what majority voted. Oh no. Con, wake up. Con, you sleep in your chair? That must be so uncomfortable. What the hell? There's nothing on the map. No record of any settlements? So what the fuck is that? Oh. Is it the end of episode two? Yup, it is. Oh, that's so good. All right, I'm fast forwarding it. I'm not gonna skip it. I think I'm gonna leave this episode here. So I can take a break because at 7 p.m., basically two hours from now, I'm going to be streaming what I have scheduled, which I think is the last episode of Wallace and Gromit. So I'll be doing that, and if I'm feeling up for it, I'll continue this game later tonight. Woo! A lot of spiciness happened, though. And a lot of people did a lot of work for it. Okay. Oh. Is that it? Oh, come on! 56 drummer did not find the laser crystal. I could not find it. I was looking too, but at least I'm not in the minority of that. Virgil's trust level. Drummer told Arlen and Rayan that she trusts Virgil. 
Did I? Yeah, I did. Drummer told Arlen reason. Yeah, I think I I think Virgil's fine. I just don't think that. I just think whatever he has in the background, he's taking it too seriously. He seems good now. Drummer heard the whole story of Khan's surgery from Maya. Oh, we did. That's cool. Yeah, because we were looking around. Drummer gifted Khan a cigar and learned about her past. Zero percent. Drummer found a cigar but didn't give it to Khan. Yeah, who wouldn't? Who wouldn't want to give it to Khan? That's literally her whole thing. Drummer didn't find any medicine. Frank! Okay, we're still in the majority, though. Dude, zero percent. Drummer had found medicine but didn't give it to Khan. Who would not do that? Uh, Virgil's mushrooms, 78% gave mushrooms to Virgil. There would be no point into not giving things except for giving scotch to Cox. Because, uh, bruh, screw Cox. Virgil's past. Drummer didn't discover anything about Virgil's past. Drummer talked to Virgil about his past. Oh, that's a thing? This was very close. Oh, I didn't know that we could actually find out about anything. Scotch for Cox. Drummer didn't give Cox anything? Who's giving Cox his scotch? He tried to kill us! The 40%- 47% here is in the wrong. In the complete wrong. And Drummer spent- Oh, I knew this was gonna happen. 15% Drummer spent the night in her own quarters. It's just not professional. Oh, hey, go. I'm good. How are you? Thanks for the cheer. I'm actually getting off here so I can stream in two hours. Ah, uh, I knew this was gonna happen. A bunch of people need to get bonked with the horny hammer. You were mean to Virgil. Was I? Oh, I didn't see. I didn't think I was. I wasn't trying to be. Oh, because I said it's not your fault. That makes sense. You're right. Because in the last episode, I said, oh, I didn't say it's not your fault. I just said do your job. So that probably tied into tied into this. Okay. So next time, we have episode three ahead of us. Then we got episode four. And then Archangel. What's Archangel? Consequential day in the life of Christian Avasarala. Most powerful person on Earth. Ooh, that could be cool. I might do that. That's a DLC. Um, that could be something that we can do. But yeah, for this game specifically, I will be streaming it maybe. I'm not going to promise it, but I might do a stream after my 7 p.m. scheduled stream. I might continue with this, get it all done in one night. Who knows? Because um, I got nothing. I have nothing planned. Corey is actually um, driving here and that'll take him 12 hours. So, <laughs> so I'm literally just going to be on my own for tonight and Tuesday. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for chatting. Thank you for lurking. Thank you for the support being here. Thank you so much. I appreciate it wholeheartedly. And you know, I w once again, I'll be streaming, um, in two hours, Wallace and Gromit, last episode so we won't have to deal with no more of the 2009 game no more of that and then i might pop back again and then um yeah i think that's it actually thank you guys so much for being here and i will see you later bye guys see ya sorry for the ones who joined in late <laughs> but bye guys